Hello everyone, in today's video we will show many free items. These items can be always obtained, there is no time limit. But before that, it's shout out time. Comment if you want to be in the next video. Make sure you have subscribe, like and comment because I'm giving away free Robux in comments. Let's start. Search game bad business. I recommend creating a free private server, easier to complete the task. Click on the gift icon and enter code UNICORN. You will receive these VR goggles from which you will complete the quest. In the main menu, click on Outfits, and in the Face section, select Goggles. Now your only task is to turn the game off and on until the Factory Patrol map appears. Here we have the map. It is very important because here you can find all the hidden items using my tutorial. Once you spawn, follow me and run all the way forward to find the white truck. We'll be looking for hidden pictures around that truck. We have the first one right behind the truck in the orange trailer. Aim at the hidden image and wait for it to scan. As a second hidden item, you can find it right on the roof. Right here. The third item can be found in this room. Follow me. There will be a total of eight hidden items. Just behind you is another picture. Scan again. Go back to truck to find this room. You can find the image on the display of that machine. The map is not that big, so you can easily find the hidden pictures. The next picture is on the other side of the map. Follow me. The picture is hiding on this pillar. Return to the truck again and run into this building. On the second floor, you will find a picture. The last picture is hidden in the room to the right of the truck. The picture is on these four wooden boxes. Once you have all eight pictures run to the corner of the map, and you will find a large picture right behind a large box. Make unicorns from the pictures. As soon as you put the picture together, it connects you to the hidden game. In this game, you have only one task, and that is to move to the icons with the letter V and defeat the waves of zombies there. Again, very simple, and you have an awful lot of lives, so anyone can really do it. Every time you finish a wave, another V icon will appear for you to go after. This process is exactly the same on all waves. It's also very fun, and above all, fast. Follow the V icon again. Here you also have slightly faster zombies. Easy peasy. Keep repeating this process and you will reach the city where you will only have the last wave. As soon as you see this white road with no texture, you know you're done and you can just run to collect the free items. Run right into the unicorn. Our free items are waiting there. As you can see, we have a badge and the new glitch outfit is ours. You get this glitch t-shirt, these glitch pants, and best of all, this glitch head. The whole outfit looks very nice. These items can be obtained at any time. Search game Moto Island. The first one. In this game, we get two free items within five minutes. Run out of the building and click on the motorbike icon to select the first motorbike. Your task is to collect 100 of these yellow items. These items keep spawning over and over. It is best to collect them directly on the circuit. I hope you already know why I don't have a driver's license. As soon as you collect all 100 items, a badge will pop out and you will have a free item.
You will receive this green motorcycle helmet. I must say it looks super cool. Run back to the game to get the second free item. Spawn your motorbike and follow me. Talk to Valentino Rossi. Click on the map to find out where the question mark is for completing the task. Set your checkpoint on the question mark and get there. Your task is to jump on these platforms. The triangle shows that you have completed the quest, so you just have to complete all the other question marks you see on the map, and don't worry, the map looks big, but it really isn't. All jumps are very easy, and you can complete them within five minutes. Complete all the jumps like this, you don't have to race, as you can see, I only have one last jump left. As soon as you jump, you will earn the last jump badge. That was very easy peasy free item. You get this cute turtle as a backpack. I have to say that I really like the item. Search game piggy. Create a private server for free in this game again. But this time you have to connect the alt account to the same server or ask a friend. As you can see, I have an alt account here. And here, just click on the button, go to book 2. Click on play. And on the right, choose commands. Set map to chapter 1. Set mode to players. Set piggy to your alt account and skip timer. In this game, you are tasked with finding keys to unlock doors. The key can be, for example, on the benches. Please note that everyone has keys at random locations on the map. For example, I have a red key right here on the bench. First, you need to find the red key. And use this key at the back of the map to open the door with the red lock. The map is really small, and you will be familiar with it in no time. Here we found the orange key, and we can directly open the door opposite. As you can see, we have scissors in the room. They are useful for cutting the tape on this door. Here we found a broom and a blue key. First we take the broom and go to the back of the map again. There we clean up the pool of water and return for the blue key. Let's open this door with the blue lock again. And here we found the last green key. Now go back to the room where you cleaned up the pool of water and turn on the sound because you will need it. Click on the door. As we heard the door knock four, write that down somewhere because you'll need it. Go back to the very beginning and right next to the bench you will find a cube on which you must enter the number of the tapping you heard. Run back to the room with the door and repeat the process. Four taps again, write it down. This time you have to find the room with the washing machines. Again, enter the number you heard on the cube. This time we heard five taps. Now just hit the location right next to the room with the door. Here again we enter the number five, and you can go back to the door. If you entered everything correctly, you will be teleported to another room. Here you have to turn all the levers in the same direction. the door will open for you. Here you have to burn all four candles. You will definitely know that they are burning less. Turn the levers on again, but in the other direction. 
and get to the room where you were as quickly as possible because the doors will close quickly. Follow the path until you come across a room where you will receive a text. In this room, you have to enter all three tap numbers that you wrote down. Here is a map of which buttons to press. For me, it was the fourth button twice and the fifth button once. You have to be quick because the ceiling is falling. If you enter the code correctly, the door will open and your free items are yours. This game was very hard, but the items are definitely worth it. You will get a whole purple suit. This t-shirt. This pants. And this damn good purple crown. Definitely give it a try. It took me eight minutes. This is the end of today's video. Make sure you subscribe. See you later, alligator.